Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to work duplicate stitches. So here I have a basic chunky beanie. I'll leave a link for this pattern if you're interested. I'm going to work a design on the front of this beanie using a duplicate stitch. This is Lion Brands Hometown USA, Cincinnati Red and Houston Cream. So I'm going to grab a couple of stitch markers to mark the area that I want to work my duplicate stitch. So it's going to be a seven by seven area. Okay. So I'm going to find the back of my beanie, which is right here. That's where my seam is. And I'm going to place it either on this side or this side. I want it a little off centered. So I'm designing a few Christmas beanies. So it's going to be a seven by seven grid. So I'm going to choose my seven stitches down here. So right here is going to be my center. One, two, three, one, two, three. So right here is going to be where I stop. So I'm going to place markers here. So I'm going to place a marker there and I'm going to place one over here. So this just tells me that these are my seven stitches. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my very first stitch that I'm going to start is going to be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to start right here. So I'm going to place this marker right beneath it so I know where I'm working. So I'm going to grab a long piece of yarn. So you wanna work from side to side. You don't wanna start right in the middle. So this is going to be a tree. There's one stitch down here, but the rest of them are going side to side. So I'm going to start on the right side. So this is my center stitch that I marked. Okay, so right above this stitch that I marked is going to be my first stitch going in this direction. And then right above it is going to be the seven stitches that go in this direction. So the very first stitch I wanna work is this one right here. So underneath this stitch here, so this is the loop for the stitch I want to make the stitch over. I want to duplicate this stitch here. So you need to insert from underneath and come up below this stitch. So right where the two stitch, the two uh, strands meet down here. Now I'm going to insert my needle in this direction. I'm following this loop. So the idea is you want to follow the loop to make it the duplicate stitch. So you want to lay it over the existing stitch. I'm gonna remove this since I know where my last stitch for that block is. So you don't wanna pull this too tight, okay? So just enough so that it sits on top of your stitch. Now I'm going to go back down into that same hole or space that I came out of. And I'm going to pull the strand. I just accidentally tightened this here. Okay. And now you've created your first duplicate stitch. So working around like that, we're following the existing stitch. Now I want to work into the very next stitch on this side here. So I'm going to insert on the bottom of that stitch, just like I did to this first one here. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to follow this loop around here. So you're going to insert your needle under this because it's going right under there. Pull it gently, don't tighten it too much. And then back down into this space here. Okay, 
So we're going to do that all the way across. My next stitch that I want to go into is right here because I want to work into this stitch. So I'm going to work seven duplicate stitches going in this direction. Okay, go back down. Okay, there's my third stitch. Now for my fourth stitch, I need a stitch below it. So you can see on the chart that the middle section starts one stitch below. So I'm going to insert my needle one stitch below because you want to work from the bottom up. Okay, now I'm going to work this stitch first, duplicate this stitch in the same way, going through the top loops right above it. Now back down here. Okay, now I've created the stitch below this row. Now I can go back up into this hole here because we want to work this loop here. That's the loop we want to uh, duplicate, or this stitch. Back up here, around these two loops, Gently pull back into the center down here. Okay, now looking at the chart, I have three more stitches going in this direction. Oh, my marker here fell off. Okay, so up the bottom of the next stitch that you want to duplicate. and then through the loops on top of it. So right above it, and then back down. Okay, now to make this go a little faster, this is what I do. Once I insert above here, and I'm ready to go back down into the center, I pull my needle up into the next space that I'm going to go up in. So I want to go back down here and I want to end up coming up from here. So I just go here and back up here. Okay. So if you follow these loops on the row that you want, that will, that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going right through here. But if you want to keep practicing the other way, that's fine too. Okay, I have one more stitch. So what you're doing is you're basically following the stitches that already exist and placing the contrasting color on top of it. So looking at the chart, I want to work my next stitch here. So I'm going to skip a row, skip a stitch and move in this direction. So right here is where I want to work my duplicate stitch. So this is the stitch that I want to work. So I'm going to go through the top loops. Just look at the stitches that you want to duplicate and watch where it's going and then you follow it with your yarn. That's how I see it. <laughs> okay, now the next stitch up at the bottom and over these two loops and back down. Okay, so now we're at the center stitch again. So we wanna move down one and then up from there. So I'm going to go back down here because I want to duplicate this stitch as well. through there, back down. Now I want to go back up to the row I was at. So back up here, around these two loops, or through these two loops, back down. into 
into the next space for the next stitch here. Now I have one more. Okay, so now I want to skip one row and start on this row. And it's only going to be three stitches, but I also want to include the stitch in the middle right here. So I'm going to go up into this space because we're starting at this stitch here. Through those two loops, back down. And then I want to come up this stitch here because that's the center stitch that we want to work. Again, instead of pulling it down and pushing it up, I just do both at the same time. It just goes a little bit quicker. But I wanted to show you the steps before I did that. Okay, through these two loops and one over and through these two loops. Okay, so now I have my three stitches there. So looking at the chart, I only have one more stitch on top. So I'm going to go up here. And if you're interested in which app I'm using to make this chart, it's um, an app called Knitting Chart. I found that it was very user friendly and they do have tutorials showing you how to use it. There are some limitations, but until then, until I find a better one, that's what I'm using. And it works for now. Okay, so there is my Christmas tree. So this is what the inside looks like and you want to just fasten off. You want to secure your end here. And then you can weave that in. I'm just going to cut it. Make sure you weave in the beginning tail as well. Okay, so that is how you work a duplicate stitch over your existing stitches. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos. I'll see you next time.